This is the Persian from Spyderco. And while it does show some wear from being carried, you can see the bolster is a bit scratched up, it didn't show an awful lot of use. So the main issues were the clip is relatively squarish on the sides, and especially on the front, that digs into my hand relatively strongly. That's also dependent on the size of your hand, and uh, so that's a bit person specific. The action is relatively heavy on this knife, and the knife itself has a relatively significant weight, and a very dramatic upsweep of the tip I also found to be limiting uh, cutting in, in a number of respects, and I preferred a more inline tip. So it didn't get a lot of use over the last eight years. But recently I was doing some stock cutting with it and it's performing relatively well for cardboard, what you would expect for a VG10 blade, similar to ATS34, S30V, all similar steels in that respect. So I decided to address uh, some of the problems and I rounded out the tip and I reground the blade. And you can see now that there's still a significant hollow in the front section and the rear section down here, where it goes into the index finger choil, is completely flat. That wasn't by design, the whole blade was ground at the same angle. The hollow groin just gets deeper as you move towards the tip, so it remained. So this greatly increases cutting ability, obviously, and also ease of sharpening, because the edge is now uh, much thinner. And in regards to this upswept area, what I found generally is, again, while I normally prefer a more inline tip, like this, and a Benchmade RSK. This does have some advantages for, of course, when you're doing any kind of skinning type work where you want that sort of large contact area because you're doing sweeping style motions. Now, generally, I don't do a lot of that in a normal carry, but that's where I found that it had the most use. So I am going to be putting this back into rotation and again now, uh, just again to get a bit more wear on it, to get a bit more feedback. What I have found, though, is the, one of the main benefits to carrying this is that something like this, the Ritter, the RSK, comes off more as sort of a tactical style sort of knife, and you often don't get the reaction that you would want from people who are not that much into knives. The Persian by Ed Shimp is much more of a dress knife, and sometimes you can get more positive reactions from it so it's interesting to have a knife like this just in case, uh, depending on what situations you're in, who's around you, because sometimes it can provoke positive discussion, which is one of the nice things, again, about carrying it. And, of course, it does look a bit more elegant and there's a bit more uh, aesthetics uh, to it. And, of course, it features all the regular Spyderco features, so it's got the detent here in the back lock. And I've had no issues with the lock. It's very stable under spine wax. Uh, security of the back locks is, in general, relatively good. So the only main area with lockbacks basically is this area here that's in here between the actual lock bar and the blade if that gets contaminated with anything lint or dirt or whatever it is it can prevent the blade from fully engaging if the blade doesn't fully engage obviously it won't lock and then of course it has no stability whatsoever but as long as you keep an eye on that and just check it it shouldn't really be an issue but again very stiff uh, compared to many other Spyderco folders and the other thing is, this isn't a knife that's meant to be taken apart whatsoever. So as the action sort of gets a bit stiff, it's not the simplest thing in the world to actually clean this, because it's a pin construction. But in general, you will see for a lot of uh, Ed Shemp's designs, and I've been turned around on a number of them lately after carrying this again and cleaning it up and changing the grind and doing some modifications to it, he does have a lot of cultural aspects you can see to his knives, and they're among the most aesthetically striking of the Spyderco knives.